Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect QuickBooks to WooCommerce in 2023. So we're going to dive into the world of efficient accounting by integrating QuickBooks, which is a powerful accounting software with your WooCommerce store. So if you're ready to streamline your financial processes, uh, stick around and let's explore the step-by-step -step process of connecting your QuickBooks to your WooCommerce site. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, what you'll need to do is simply go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the URL section and we'll have to start by setting up a QuickBooks account first. So just visit the QuickBooks website by typing in the URL quick, sorry, quickbooks.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of quickbooks.com. And as you can see here, welcome to QuickBooks. So to check our product designed especially for your country, please visit the global sites. So you can uh, visit the global sites or if you are from United States, just use or click on this option on visit the US sites. So do whatever suits you. For me, I'll just go with the global sites in here. And of course, make sure in here to go and log in into your account from this top right corner if you have an account. And if you don't have an account instead, you'll have to go and click on start a free trial so you can create a new account. If you don't know nothing about QuickBooks, make sure to scroll down and read more information about us here and just to have a general idea about us or to understand a bit about it as an example. So here is the plans. You can post a video and check us all like the plans with the prices, with the features. So of course, don't mind this $1 per month. You should see it like this, which is 18, 70 uh, or 27, sorry, or 39, eight. This is monthly and this yearly, if you want to like pay yearly, it will be like 15% off. So as I said, other than that, just keep scrolling, see what people saying about it. If you have one of those questions, I'll just open the answers for you as an example. You can pause the video and see the answer. Those are just the frequently asked questions as an example. So that's it for you. So for me, I'm just going to click on login as an example, click on uh, QuickBooks Online. And here, of course, I'll have to sign in into my account. So yeah, click on that, continue and i guess i should be logged in into my account without any problems so yeah it seems like i'm logged in of course once you're logged in now make sure to set up your account if you have something to set up on your quickbooks account and once you're ready just go and open a new tab and now go to your woocommerce go to woo.com go to your woocommerce website and basically of course you'll have to access your plugins to install a new plugin of quickbooks so for me i'll just open a local host in the other tab and of course, like WooCommerce, you'll have to do the same. For me, I'm already like logged into my account. So for you, we'll have to go to WooCommerce or Woo.com, uh, log in into your account. If you have one, if you don't, you'll have to go and create a new one. And then you'll have to go and access your plugins. So once you go to your uh, local host, you can go to this list panel, plugins, go to click on add a new plugin. And this should take you into the page of plugins, of course. And there you'll have to look for the QuickBooks uh, plugin or you can even try to install the WooCommerce plugin instead in QuickBooks. So you can go back to QuickBooks here, go to this list panel, go to apps and as, as an example, click on find apps and here let's look for WooCommerce as an example. And as you can see, we have WooCommerce connector. So you can use like two options. You can connect like uh, WooCommerce to QuickBooks or you can connect uh, QuickBooks to WooCommerce. So whatever you want. So as an example here, find WooCommerce connector by Intuit. So here I'll just go and click on get the app now. And this will take me to the QuickBooks app store. And at the same time, let's just go here to plugins. Example, once you click on add a new plugin, you can go here to search plugins and simply type here quick books, hit the enter button. And of course, this should like uh, look for the QuickBooks. As you can see, WooCommerce sync for QuickBooks online by my work software. So you can see like an integration or a plugin. And of course, in here, you can choose the plugin that you want. For example, let's say this one. You can simply go and click on install. Now, once it's installed, you'll have to activate it. Of course, if you want to read more details about this, click on more details. You'll be able to see all the details here. The plans, installation, frequently asked questions, change logs, screenshots on how it's working. 
reviews of other people and everything once this is installed as example you can click on here on activate and you can simply go and access its settings so you can start doing uh, or start the connection from woocommerce to your uh, quickbooks so as example you can or you should just look for the plugin right here as example that you just downloaded and simply once you do so here is that you can simply go and I go to connection and start the connection right here as an example. So you'll have to click on connect to QuickBooks Online, click on that. And yeah, let's just wait for the page until it loads. And as you can see here, you'll have to please enter my works license key to continue. And if you don't have one, you'll have to sign up for my works account, then enter that here. And of course, as you can see, so you don't have a QuickBooks account, you'll have to register for one and the quickbox.com you'll have to to of course go to my work sync uh, settings and set up and set and save of course your default settings then you're almost finished you just need to map at least one current customer products and payments methods map one customer map one products and map uh, map one payments method then once you finish you'll have to get your license key click on enter and the connection will be done of course, that's if you want to like do the connection from WooCommerce to QuickBooks. If you want to do it from QuickBooks, you can simply go here, click on get the app. Okay, we already click on that, so should be taken here. So sorry, uh, but the app didn't connect. Please try again or contact the customer service. So maybe they have a problem at the moment, but normally when you click in there and here, you should be logged in into your WooCommerce account. And as I said, or if you, if you sell given or get in this problem, you can simply just go and click on customer support and you should be able to connect to the customer support and they will tell you like the steps on how to resolve this problem if you keep getting it so as an example if you get this for the first time just wait for like 30 minutes and try again next time or maybe tomorrow but if you keep getting it always you can simply just go and contact the customer support as a thing and of course in the app in here you can always see like the pricing uh, the price is free so users unlimited so you don't have to worry about that the reviews as you can see you can see the reviews of other people you can see uh, like similar apps like that so shopify connect to quickbooks an example and frequently asked questions as an example so if you have one of those here is the answer that you want maybe so uh, that's it if you want to like uh, initiate the connection from uh, woocommerce to quickbooks from as i showed you and if you want to from quickbooks to woocommerce i showed you so I guess that's it for us. For you, congratulations. You've successfully connected your QuickBooks to your WooCommerce store, streamlining your accounting process. So thank you for joining me today. And of course, make sure for you to regularly like review your QuickBooks dashboard and WooCommerce store to ensure like accurate data synchronization and monitor like financial records and resolve in the description. Of course, if they have any updates on the app in WooCommerce in here or in the plugin in here, make sure to have it. And yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.